Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Libra connection reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. And if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as they may not, may not be for you. They may be for someone else. All right, so we're going to get angel answers. We're going to get romance angel cards. We're going to get some tarot. Look at past, current, and future energies. Some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. All right, so there's, I record right next to my windows outside because I like the natural light. So there's some clouds coming in. So the light's been going in and out. All right, Capricorn and Libra. Meditation brings answers. Taking some time out to look within to find answers. What's something that's going on between the two of you? And we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So maybe that's kind of missing right now within that relationship, right? That connection is, that part of the connection is missing. And then maybe that may be something that you need to work on. All right, so let's get some tarot. Yep, here comes the storm. Hopefully I can get through this before the storm. All right, so we had the Nine of Cups fell out. And that's what I keep saying for Capricorn. The Nine of Cups keeps wanting to come out. And I keep changing up my tarot decks. And it keeps coming out. And that's okay with me. And then we have the Queen of Cups. All right, so we have for past energy, we have Nine of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay, we have Ten of Wands. Current energies, we have the King of Cups, we have the Devil card, and we have the Ace of Cups. Future energies, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Death card, which is Scorpio, we have the Six of Wands, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So for some of you, there may be a, a Libra that's coming in, right? And maybe somebody that you had a relationship with in the past um, that they're kind of waiting in the wings. Um, and for some of you, it could be that this has been a long time relationship that you have had with a Libra, that you've known this person for a long time. Um, and there may be, there may be you know, some struggles going on here within the relationship. Of course, every relationship has its struggles. So, all right. So past energy, we have the nine of cups, we have the queen of cups and we have the 10 of wands. So I feel like there was a situation that you had to work through. I do feel that like, I feel with the six of cups, I feel like it's, for the most, like for the most part, things have been happy. Things have been good. You've had playfulness. You've had this silliness. Um, I feel like things were going good. Things were going positive. And then I feel like something happened. And, and so emotionally you were feeling, you know, I feel like there was something emotionally that happened. And we have this 10 of wands where he's carrying these wands up to the, the tower, but he still has, you know, a little bit farther to go. He's still carrying this burden. So I feel like this was something that was weighing you down in the past, something that happened, something that made you feel emotionally hurt or disconnected, something happened. Um, and I feel like it was something that you weren't expecting. Like the person did something that you were like, wow, I'm surprised that you did that. And I feel like that kind of put some weight on the relationship, um, some heaviness on the relationship. And so it's been something that you've been trying to work on and something that you've been trying to get through. Um, for current energies, we have the King of Cups, the Devil card, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like it's almost like you want to turn this relationship around. So for those of you that have this Libra that's waiting in the wings, that I feel like you're kind of going along and you're work, you were working on yourself. And then I feel like this, this person comes in for you, especially right here with the Ace of Cups. So that can be that this, this Libra comes in for you. Um, like you're ending this relationship over here, like you've, you've moved past this and now you're ready to start a new relationship. And so this Libra may come in for you. Um, 
and start a new relationship or it could be that you are you are in the energy now where you're like, okay, we need to work on this energy. We need to work on this relationship. We need to make things smoother and easier and calmer because there's kind of been this elephant in the room, per se, um, between the two of you. There's been this... Um, For the devil card, I feel two things. I feel like it's you coming into your own energy and your own power and you're like, I'm going to take control of this situation and we're going to get past this and we're going to work through this. Or it could be that there was some toxic energy that was between you because of what happened in the past and it's still lingering and it's like, okay, we have to figure out how to get past this. We have to figure out how to let this go um, and work through this. For future energies, we have Seven of Pentacles, the Death card, the Six of Wands, High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. So there's definitely something that you're holding on to that you're focusing on. You're focusing on these three of spilt cups, but you still have the two cups behind you. And it's like, I feel like it's, you know, maybe you're focusing on whatever happened here in the past, right? Whatever this is that you're trying to work through, that you're focusing on that, and that needs to be let go of, right? You That needs... Because if that becomes too much of the of a focus, then that is just going to create an even bigger wedge within the relationship. So I feel like it's rising above the situation. We have the death card, which is letting go of something that is holding you back, right? Letting go of, again, whatever represents the three of cups. And we have the horse. We have the horse, which is stomping on or walking past this person, it's a little morbid, but, <laughs> you know, it's like stomping that out so that you can move forward because we have the ships and the sail here. So it's about what is that that you're holding on to that you have to let go of, that you have to rise above the situation. And what is that feeling inside? What do you truly feel inside about what do you want to do with this relationship? Um, <clears throat> it could be that focusing on this and holding on to this energy is affecting how you really feel inside um, and also I feel like you have to figure out what is it that you feel within this relationship as what you want to do right what are those true feelings within yourself because I feel like you're questioning the relationship here because he's kind of standing here and he's looking down and he's thinking hmm, what do I want to do with this right do I want to move forward do I want to keep going do I want to keep putting work into this or how do I put work into this? Or how do I move on from this? How do I let go? What is it that I'm holding on to? What represents these three spilled cups? I feel like it's finding those answers within yourself. And that's what you have to figure out first before you can move forward. And again, we have meditation brings answers. So it's again, I feel like that's kind of the hermit card or looking within and saying, and having that calmness within yourself to say what do I really want to do in this situation? Or why am I holding on to these three spilled cups? Why am I focusing on this three spilled cups? Why am I constantly focusing on this? Why can't I turn things around? Am I trying to self-sabotage this relationship? Am I putting this energy in this relationship to create, create some sort of reaction? And looking at why am I holding on to that? All right, so let's get some clarifiers. Sometimes we have to look for the answers within ourselves and see those things that we're holding on to and that we're focusing on. King of Wands, I feel like that's, the King of Wands is somebody who is very wise. I feel like it's learning from the past, right? Learning f maybe from past relationships, opening your eyes, judgments, and awakening, renewal, revival, opening your eyes to something, to see something, I feel like it's it's maybe seeing a pattern or, or seeing that you are holding on to something still, right, with this Ten of Wands because there's still a ways to go here. Ten of Swords, definitely with Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. Tens are completions, but I still feel like this, you're still holding on to something, right? You're not quite there. Then we turn into the fool energy, which is a new beginning, a new start, taking a leap of faith, a new direction, right? Changing things up, moving forward in a positive way, letting go of what happened in the past to process it, to work through it. How, 
What do you need from your partner in order for you to feel better? Like, I feel like you're finally ready to deal with it right here. You're finally in the energy of, okay, I'm going to deal with it. But what is it that you need, right? You have to look within first to find out what is it that you need from your partner or what is it that you need to feel in order for you to be able to feel more grounded and move forward? What is it that will help you to feel safer and more secure within this relationship? And I feel like that brings in new emotions and new feelings. Seven of Wands, again, which I was saying before, is what is it that you need that will help you in this relationship, that will help you to feel more secure and emotionally better? And then we have Ten of Cups, uh, Ten of Pentacles. What is that reward, right? The rewards for your hard work, the rewards for figuring this out, the rewards for getting past this, these two tens here. But I also feel like it could bring, you know, I feel like it changes the relationship and maybe it brings that passion back in the relationship that maybe that was missing, right? And brings that back in because you've worked through this. You've completed this Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords and that you're not carrying that on your back anymore. Six of Swords, ready to move forward to calmer, to calmer waters. Um, wanting that change, wanting things to be calmer, easier. But I feel like it's definitely looking within. I feel like there's something missing or something that you're holding on within yourself that's affecting the relationship. Not that I'm saying that the other person is completely innocent, but I feel like, I just feel like this reading is, is for the Capricorn and for that person because you're holding on to something. Especially with the death card and then the five of cups there. All right, so let's get, let's close out with the Lenormand. Sometimes that we have to do is we have to take a hard look inside and, and say, what's going on with me, right? You have to be your own best friend and look at yourself and say, hey, what's going on with me? Why am I feeling this way? Taking off that mask. I feel like you have a mask on. I feel like you're not being true to yourself. That's what I was, that I, that's funny because that's what I was, I was kind of feeling is that you're kind of putting on this false presentation and that you have this mask and you're just, I feel like you're just not being true to yourself. I feel like this is, there's something that you're holding on to or there's this emptiness or, or, or you're saying one thing but you're doing another thing and I, I feel like that's what you need to be more in tune in and more, more aware of and then make those changes that, that will help you to feel better and let go of those things that you're holding on to, figuring out why am I holding on to it, and then making those changes. And I feel like that really changes everything within this relationship. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.